cheer, uh, get everyone excited. Fuck yes! And, Any uh, trailer? Yeah, let's let's get to it then. Let's go. God damn! I wasn't expecting a trailer. Man, what do you think his heat looks like? And his rage art. Zoom, 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 capoeira, zabadu, cap. Você vai ver o melhor da capoeira. Oh, <laughs> let's fucking go. For the next battle. Puto de padre. Yeah. And what was it? Indomitable yeah. Flash? My god, he's a philosopher as well. Oh, he can freeze there? I can't tell what's going on in terms of moves, but it's flashy as fuck. Heat smash. They've reanimated pretty it's much everything. <laughs> and he is such a good man. That's his install crouch pro. Sick. Oh shit! Oh, this is his install. Huge wall combo. Heat dash. And <laughs> it never fucking ends. <laughs> <laughs> All the Brazilian people crying now. The soul of capoeira. Oh. How much are you crying? <laughs> April 1st? What the fuck? It's now! It's now! No here. It's now! Yeah, it's in a few days! Wait, I get early access! I get early access! Those of you who are poor, you wait! Fucking <laughs> wait! Eddie Gold! General access to the Eddie Gold! Poverty FGC! What was it for you guys? The 4th of April! Yeah. I'll have him on Monday, I guess. Yeah, my, so, uh, the animations are the so access, beautiful. So, you can see from the so beautiful. Uh, April 5th, uh, I believe that's the Japan time. If you're in California or you know, uh, Pacific Daylight Time, that's the 4th. Uh, but that's the general access. So the early access is actually the 1st or the 2nd, depending on your region. Yes, early access. つまりデラックスエディションかアルティメットエディションかもしくはスターナードエディションを買った後にデラックスエディションアップロードパックを購入された方に関してはさっきの時間から72時間前からエディがプレイカウントになると I wonder if we're going to show... So if you're one of those uh, very excited fans who's purchased the Ultimate or Deluxe Editions from the start, obviously uh, what's included with that is going to be the, the playable character year one pass, so you'll have uh, early access. Also, if you missed out uh, and got the Standard Edition at first, uh, you could still you still have a chance if you got the Deluxe uh, upgrade as well. So all of these uh, different versions will give you access to that uh, character year one pass, which will give you Eddie uh, access to Eddie uh, on the the second of April or the first of April, depending on your region. The Otte o shirase shimasu ga, eto kono shigatsu tsuka kore san ano third update to haerimasu no de, eto chodo maintenance iriru. Maintenance kiu ni Eddie ga haishin nari yoteru de, maintenance akeru made wa offline no mode shika. 
、えー、プレイできます、ね。バトルマスター、まあ、皆さんプラクティスであったりとか、うんえー、オフラインのモードをプレイしていただいて、メンテナンスが終わったら、そこからオンラインでプレイができるようになります。Uh, and I'm sure everyone who's been playing Tekken is quite used to this, but、uh, we just want to、uh, again、uh, have everyone note that we will be having a short maintenance period while we、uh, update the game with the aforementioned uh, details uh, and also adding, adding Eddie Gordo.、Uh, that said, the game isn't completely inaccessible. You can、uh, still check out practice in the offline modes while you wait for Eddie. Hi. t h e s are the things that I want to do. I'm going to do a little bit of a video. えー、アップグレードパックを買ってくださいねっていうあのこれはお知らせになります。And、uh, for those of you who、uh, still only have the standard version, there's still time to upgrade to the deluxe pack、uh, to get access to the character early. ということで、はいはい、今日はあの前回中津さんに deluxe edition upgrade pack for the b o o k 今日は、えー、プレイヤー代表ということで、はい、はい、この方をエディといえば、はい、エディといえば。Gonna remove a chat for a second here. <笑> Never mind, it's gone. <笑>誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、誰だ、But today, as kind of like the,、uh, the representative of the player base, we have a special guest who himself is quite known for being an Eddie player,、uh, Hameko. Hameko s a n g a Hajimete, Eddie, or Sawarinagara, Nakasanga, so you know, lecture or Surto, Takatachi, this is a meticular battle. So let's commence with the Eddie Gordo special program here. We're going to have、uh, this is actually the first time that Hameko has、uh, had his hands on the character. So he's going to be playing for the first time, and Nakatsu is actually going to be instructing him on the ins and outs of the character. So it should be quite entertaining for our audience as well, I believe. For those of you who don't know, Hameko 30 owed Yonding last week. And Yonding cried. It was an Eddie Mirror match. Hameko goes hard. Yeah, we, don't, we can't speak Japanese, so please.、Uh, yeah, go for Japanese banter for another 20 minutes. I, I, I love the fact that we're a team, we're a family, we're having fun, but you know, the entire world is,、uh, doesn't get the joke. It's not very important. You know, it's, like, it's just kind of、uh, Parada noticing that、um, just you know, back in the day, these two here、uh, used to play each other as just normal Tekken players quite often. Ah, it's trust talk. And、uh, yeah. So Hameko went to Nakatsu's house and left a、uh, half drunk a bottle of cola, and、uh, it's been、uh, on his mind ever since. <laughs> In previous Tekken, can you lab character you don't own? You can't. It's a little bit different this time around because you'll be able to play the character episode story of a DLC you do not own. And I don't know if you can load them into practice mode, but I know you can at least use the replay feature to see what they do. So, just some background on Hamiko himself.、Uh, you know, he's been you'll be able to lap the character. That's said, great.、Uh, of course, he started playing in Tekken 3 as Eddie, but then again,、uh, for Tekken 4, his main character was Christy Montero. They mentioned again, this. Well,、okay. uh, oh, if you can lap a character in practice mode,、uh, that's very. I mean, that's very nice. He was using Eddie Gordo as well in his team, obviously. So he is an avid Eddie Gordo fan. Hi. And so, today, I'm going to talk about the way that Eddie is going to be able to play. I'm going to talk about the way that Eddie is going to be able to play. 
、まあ、エディやっぱ対応すると難しいので、うん、その対応の方法みたいなところも一緒に、うんえー、伝えていけたらなと思ってます。So, naturally,、uh, Nakatsu is going to be、uh, instructing all of us on how to have fun with Eddie, but then we realize some people are kind of、uh, worried about how do I fight against him. So, he's going to give some pointers to those type of people as well. So, Nakatsu is going to be controlling the one player green version and、uh, Hamek on the two player side. Yeah, he is the first DLC, so it's going to be interesting to see what his power levels are like if they are over 9,000. That was a problem in general with DLC in Tekken 7. They always came out like ultra fucking strong. You'll see exactly what we're talking about shortly. So, Bananera, first off, you know, the handstand that he's quite famous for. And you can also do from,、uh, you know,、uh, backwards in both punches or forwards. He's so well animated. A negative position where he sits down. Looks really cool. You know, his old negativa, he would just sit down on his ass with, his, with his, both of his hands in the ground behind him. You think that idol animation is nice? Yeah. I think it's much more fluid than the last one. Yeah. 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 I think it's an improvement. I think the old one was really stale. So, before, you know,、uh, Eddie was kind of a, a complex character to both play and then to defend against. So, we focused on renewing the char character, trying to make the animations look very smooth and transition、uh, together quite smoothly,、uh, much like that of actual real、uh, Capoeira. And so, we focused on mostly the kicks and、uh, you you know, the overall impact、okay. visually that they have. So, first off, his、uh, forward,、uh, both kicks is a brand new. Move called、はい、I mean, he makes me stiff in my cutie jeans. He is one good looking、uh, man. He comes from、uh, a famous god of lightning、uh, in Brazil. I kind of like the killmonger look as well. He looks good. And you can see that、uh, you know, it's、uh, on hit,、uh, obviously, you go into the, it's a heat engager,、uh, but even on block, you're still at ni minus nine. So it's kind of like、uh, you know, Devil Jin or Jin's、uh, Demon Pop. Yeah, it's、yeah, classic. Minus nine, long range mid heat engager. So, it's a common theme in Tekken 8. And so, also in mid range, you're kind of up close a little bit too.、Uh, you're going to be doing this、uh, down back. Uh, left kick gives you the spinning motion. So you can actually use this kind of from mid range、uh, as your approach.、Mm. Would be better without this zoom or as generic haircut, which is, which is everywhere now.、Mm. I never see it because、uh, I'm not on social media. I don't play the games you guys play.、Mm. I watched half an hour of Black Panther, got、so、bored to like、death. A, but know, I thought Killmonger was kind of probably the best part of Black Panther, but still a well, boring well, movie. You know, And I, I like the look, so I'm not overexposed to it. So this is kind of like the hatchet kicks that Brian or,、uh, that has, so it's kind of like the same use. Domini, thanks for subbing. So, those two moves are some of the main tools you're going to use. Negativa.、Uh, and then, what your, your next strategy is you're going to want to be、uh, transitioning. Negativa, negativa just as, frame、uh, link into Puto de Padre. And、uh, Nakatsu is just that frame four, four link. This is a good way to get into、はい、the negativa stance. That's Spanish. No, that's Greek. Jesus. Go get educated, motherfucker. Learn. Learn. 
And so, uh, Johnny, Johnny Buckfuck, low, thanks uh, for the tier one. It does put you at advantage, you. so then you're well, able no, to no, uh, press uh, LK twice to do the consecutive kicks. Uh, and when they hit, they put the Eddie in that Mandinga, which is that, that kind of icon below the, the life gauge. Kind of a powered up gauge, a state. My, my LK. Educate yourself. Now! The fucking GOAT, LTG. The Emperor of Mankind. That's a counter combo. In another way is that... Uh, From what, his sidestep uh, four? Forward forward left kick. On counter hit, it gives you a few other things that you can do. Uh, he has a guaranteed, uh, yeah, throw on that he can do on crouching opponents, so that kind of connects. It's not a counter hit, lone also, sure, but ton of damage. Of, and if it wall splats, a or fuck stage two, ton of damage. Gives him another follow up option. It actually so. did a ton of damage. Most of those lows that allow a mini combo like that, they scale a lot. But this looked like a fuck ton of damage. Hell sweep. Was that Hellsway from Negativa? Uh, Negativa Hellsway. <laughs> but again, he has Negativa. If, if, if Negativa slippery kicks, launcher is gone. So before, you know, Eddie, uh, you know, he, he had something similar where he would go into his relaxed stance uh, to try to, to open up his opponent, uh, usually with kind of those sweeping kicks. Uh, but this time it's been uh, streamlined a little bit more for these techniques. What, so slippery kicks are gone? It's replaced by a hell sweep. That's a nerf. That's a fucking nerf to Eddie. One important thing to note is that from the negative, the negativa when he had a the launching 50-50, uh, low kicks, and mid. Uh, the first one has to clean the hit for the follow-up to to actually hit. Unless so, they made the, the house suite safer, hit, and, of course. Uh, they block the second, then that leaves uh, Eddie at minus 13 uh, and open for a punish. He needs clean hit for it to sweep. So you can see kind of like the back and forth between you and your opponent uh, as a result. What? But that's shit with that. Minus 13. Uh, isn't it mid high? So as you can see, what, is it mid those, mid? Uh, moves, you know, the, no, the that's mid high. Uh, no, no, low, uh, low high. It's low high. To get in. And then uh, it's low high. Up your opponent from negativa is the basic strategy that you're going to want to employ. That's crap. That's not good. That's crap. Next, we want, we want to go into Bananera, the handstand move, right? Uh, so this, unlike ne negativa, Man, which is used to kind of open up your opponent, this is more of like how you kind of launch your offen offense. Mr. Door, thanks for free months. So you could, so you can of course uh, choose to go directly into Bananera, but that puts you at uh, great risk. So one of the options is to perform his slash kick, you know, the while running three, uh, which will transition into Bananera as well. Or you can choose to do LK LK, which also puts you into Bananera. Uh, Maybe it jails. Minus three. It's not uh, impossible. That's not too yeah. much of a minus. Maybe it jails. Then you're only minus 13. But it's still not that good because. No, no. So not from if it Banana, jails, if you yeah. do the LP, uh, actually, but if it doesn't uh, jail, that is advantage, not good, man. Uh, which then uh, sets you up to go into negativa and then to continue your offense from there. I just want to see if it jails. So you take the advantage with that uh, LP, uh, then you hit them with those leg kicks, which then again powers up one stage of the uh, Mandinga. Damn the pressure. 
It jails. They, oh, you feel they show that it jails. I, that's not the impression I got. They just show that it's minus 13 on block. Then if someone's trying to uh, crush that or knock you out of the stance with an attack, he also has a power crush from that stance. ここポイントになったらちょっと話戻るんですけど、結構エディってこの特殊構えがある性でやられる側も面倒くさかったじゃないですか。特にその座りですよね。そう、ネガティブ。これ座られた時に姿勢が低くてダウン状態だった。そう
ずっと継続されているで,で次のラウンドになるとリセットされるはいですよねなんでマンジーがカメタエディは危険と覚えてます、はい、あ、he also does that I don't remember Jamie no one played Jamie マナネイラからはマナネイラからは she gets stacked when she does her key throws and they get stronger まあ例えばこのそういう単弁的な蹴りですとかパワークラッシュがはい強力だよっていうところだったんですけどこのジェイミーはドラムを持ってきたのは、ヴァーチャーファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、ヴァーチャーのファイターキャラクター、And、uh, this gives you even more access、uh, to tools from、uh, the handstand, so you don't have to go back to Negativa to open up your opponent necessarily. And、uh, Nakatsu was just showing off. Boomer,、uh, it's called kind of educated man of culture. But there was another、Not、one where he hits a, ass, a single attack right you know, now. He just did. Loser、uh, ass. The actual、yeah. has aerial jump status. これもまあガードされてもレディが有利なので攻めが継続できたりする。Go watch that Taylor Swift movie again. And、uh, she is so great.、はい What, the important part、uh, of this is that、uh, even if blocked, Eddie is、uh, plus frames、uh, on that move when he's in the power up state.、Uh, and there's a difference、uh, between the state to one and state two. So you can see the difference there. What did you say? The Kyoka Chu Nishka does in Elza Ga, Fuete, Sakadachi no Seme no Variation Ga, Fuete. How is Virtua Fighter doing this? Well, you can dismiss it by saying it foundered, it's, it's dead, but it died for all of the wrong reasons. It's one of the best fighting games ever made. You wouldn't have Tekken without Virtua Fighter. Did you know the lead、uh, designers? <laughs> on the、uh, Virtua Fighter were the directors of, on Tekken. And most of that battle system went into Tekken. They were the first to implement sidesteps, tech rolls. Mm. So, uh, everything that just in previous、uh, iterations and bounds, the they did it was, first.、Uh, Walls, they did it first. Low, It's a, like uh, uh,、um, everything that is Tekken、uh, came from Virtua the, Fighter.、Uh, punch, the reason Virtua Fighter、um, died was that they couldn't appeal one, to you guys you with neat graphics that, you can then do and that, cool、uh, character design. But everything to do with high IQ and gameplay, they nailed it.、So、you can say, how is that doing now? Well, they didn't Michael Bay enough for you dumb fucks to buy it. But anyone who was willing to give a battle system a try, one of the best fighting games ever made.、Yeah. So don't be too quick to dismiss Virtua Fighter.、Yeah. Virtua Fighter is basically that. Will you shut up, h e l l a s Group? That not super good looking girl at the pub where you can easily dismiss. But if you go up and talk to her, her personality is 12 out of 10. Uh, 12 out of 10. In Japan that,、uh, covers that's, that's Virtua Fighter. Why f u l material? Exactly. Exactly. Or like you guys at the club. Middling, attractive, shit clothes, no money, but you compensate with your shit personality. You、well, babe, I look like shit. I have no car, no apartment. I live with mom. I'm a bit fat. Got no money. But I got a heart of shit. Yeah, I, I suck this hard. I'm, I'm a piece of shit. You want to fuck? I'm a piece of shit. 
And so uh, Hamiko is just really excited that uh, there's a lot of references that are similar to. Uh, Why are we the, talking the about this? Because, you know, obviously, because this turned uh, into boring. Both that author and, and our uh, our team is uh, quite passionate about Cupware and representing it authentically. Uh, and Nakas was explaining that one of the game designers, uh, Gehero is his, um, his kind of nickname, I guess you could say, uh, Sasamori, uh, he's a game designer on our team who's a very uh, high-level kapoorista uh, who has um, a connection with uh, the author from that uh, manga as well. And so uh, you see a lot of the in inspiration. Damn, I love that Provo. はい、で、まあ、結構まあ今、あの、ちょっとまあマニアックな話をずっとしてきたんですけど、まあ、エディ、エディって実際その蹴り技をたくさん売ってるだけで、ま、たくさん売ってるだけで、ま、たくさん売
えー、そうネガティブにいけるようなそう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、生かしてましたはいこれはヒート中量系のこの逆立ちいかつはゲヘイロ入ってますゲヘイロエスプロズイボはいこれ笹森くんのまあそのリングで Dude, even people who don't play Tekken know Eddie Gordo Characters just iconic Bros, not so much I'm a fan of the technique name It's called ゲヘイロエスプロズイボ I believe ゲヘイロ being the kind of the, the martial arts name of 笹森くん who, who did the animation for this Uh, and then explosive was probably explosive. Then, Nissan Lucar K. Wa, Harboja Haya, no Kyoka Bamitan. Hi, Harboja Haya, Liberado. And then,、uh, quarter circle backward and right kick, I believe, is the technique that Hamiko was doing. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. Hi, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that. But so, so now he has a sidestep. Basically, the options he has. And he、uh, doesn't have a sidestep in prior、state. games. So now he can sidestep. That's obviously a gigantic <laughs> buff. I wonder if he nerfed his backdash. Another interesting characteristic of Eddie is that、uh, he has access to the same heat smash from both Bananera and Negativa stances. So you can continue、oh. up、uh, your pressure. Okay. So he doesn't get the second, the low heat smash. Like、uh, Zafina and Reina. June. June also. God, I wish Kazuya had that. So this kind of new version of the overall Eddie is、uh, just. But again, I, I know they gave it to the stance characters.、Uh, so. uh, with Eddie having many different options to、uh, try to open up your opponent and to have fun going on <laughs> offense. Lily has that as well. Xiaoyu has that as well. Quite a lot of characters have that. Well, Devil Jin has a pro heat smash from Winning Crow. I mentioned you. Leo has it. No one cares about Leo. Ich bin Leo Kleisen, ich bin ein little good. Perfect representation of Germany. Why does every German person sound exactly like Leo? Ich bin glücklich! Why do they all talk like that? これでこの攻めを行ったらこっから崩せるっていう。いやそうなんですよ。そう、マンジンガを持った状態でヒートに行った方が強いんだよっていうのが。Who the fuck said I hate Germans? What the fuck are you talking about? That's a fucking compliment. So it's a Leo. It's like velvet on your ears. Such a sexy, sexy voice. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a goddamn compliment. Uh, they, they have、uh, access to some kind of new techniques or, or some kind of powered up、uh, technique, right? Where Eddie,、uh, it's a little bit different because he has、uh, Majinga outside of this. So you want to maybe first get to the second stage of Majinga, and then when you're、uh, in the heat state, you、Mouth、have access to the, the heat powers, but also you sound like Lars. Me, of to course. Easily open up your yeah, Swedish is pretty awesome. They use it in anime all the time. ことによってそのヒート発動がよりな凶悪になるのかなという感じしますね。そういったのがセオリーになります。はい。Because then、uh, the heat state power up will be even all more threatening、uh, because you have that.、Well. Why Lars doesn't speak Swedish? まあさっきもやった。あ、G、I don't know. Have you seen his hair? That's the first clue. Take it from there. まただそのマンジンガに行くとちょっとエディが決めるじゃないですかポーズ。はいはいはい。それでやっぱり置き攻めがしづらくなるっていう,う、ね、まあデメリットもあるように見えるんで。そうです。ただレベル2まで上げちゃうとそのポーズが出なくなるんで、置き攻めがしやすくなる。はいはいはいはいはい。
So Hamako is just wondering about if there's some kind of demerit for uh, Eddie doing that animation when he goes into the Majinga, which maybe for the first stage it is, but he stops doing sakes, that animation. For sakes, this Eddie presentation should have been 10 minutes, for God's sakes. I know they want to speak in, in Japanese. They need to give the instructions to him in Japanese. And then he performs it, and then he, they explain again in Japanese, and then Murray translates that explanation, and it's like, fuck me. God damn. <laughs> so, obviously, the general theory is going to be you want to power up the Majinga level, uh, you know, regardless of that animation or not. Uh, and then that will kind of give you uh, more access to your offensive strategies. Uh, and you're going to want to kind of uh, form your, your offensive structure accordingly. And uh, Hameko-san wanted to go into uh, more, uh, even more fine details. So I stopped him first to let you guys know what we're talking about. And then uh, we're going to proceed. He's uh, very excited, as you can tell. How popular will Eddie be? He'll be everywhere. Everywhere. Mm. Ranked is going to be like, I don't know, 50 Eddies per day? Mm. The, the neck beards, high ranks, we're gonna all play Eddie and get him to a high rank and then they drop him. But it's always like this. They play the DLC, get him to a high rank and then drop him. You know, his, his uh, strategy and probably you know the basic strategy for this character previous iterations was Kind of from long range, you want King to King J falling uh, asleep on stream. The, I, I can't blame the, the fight got the, the kind of uh, round. I can't blame the man uh, down or other for kind being of long reaching techniques. Here. And then when your opponent tries to rush in to close the distance, uh, smack him with that elbow and, mm. and fish for a counter hit. Yo, bro. Mm. I'm British. Sir, would you like another biscuit, sir? You what, mate? You, you said what, mate? Pardon me, sir. What, what time is it, sir? So, what Hamiko's trying to say is that like the standard tools you used in the previous iterations aren't gonna uh, get you that much damage this time. I like the elbow he's just showing on. Would you like to try my bunghole, God? Your opponent can actually. Would you like to try my bunghole? Nice weather. If you want to use Eddie effectively, you want to uh, adjust. Looks your strategy like it's raining out. again. It's raining, Mama. This is so boring. Is now a, a high attack, so you can duck it. So goes the combo though, if it hits. This also seems a little bit redundant because if we're anyway going to all lab Eddie in two days, do you really have to show the entire fucking move list right now? Don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But I would say, like, maybe leave it to us to look at every minute detail. You can just show the new relax a couple of options, show the heat smash. And, uh, you know, so. You know, uh, just again, seems a little the, bit like the over, over maybe overdone here. Uh, Samukaz, thanks for Primates. Prime. Thank you. Uh, uh, you so, fucking you know, wanker! You can't rely on this move, but Nakatsu just mentioned that... Well, was yeah, the rage art cool? We kind of drastically over there was a, a lot of effort into to, it. To it looked cool, a, a I thought. Character it was very and, uh, unique such, compared to the other rage different arts. Ways of enjoying the character. He, he swipes <laughs> up with his capoeirista, he swipes up like a tornado. You can't see shit, and when the tornado goes away, and his ancestors are there, the Brazilian ancestors, and they all play uh, capoeira instruments, and Eddie gets a huge boner, and he starts flying around doing his capoeira and everywhere. Yeah. That was pretty cool. 
And so uh, Hamiko was just saying one of the things he relied on was that uh, it was really quick to, to do those kind of double spinning kicks uh, from a sidestep. Uh, where the animation is a bit different this time around. It's a little bit slower uh, on the startup. What they uh, should have done because, uh, is taken know, two Eddie or four pro players, give them half an hour or maybe a couple of hours to play with the characters like, against uh, each other and interview them on what they thought about it. Uh, super fast, that would be uh, completely fucking be. uninteresting but, uh, because in return, Tekken pro players uh, are extremely good at playing Tekken, but when it comes to explaining the game, I've seen Goldfish do a better job. Lydia is S tier. Uh, why is Lydia S tier? Uh, big combo. Uh, big low attack. Yeah. Some of the moves that used to evade. Okay, Johnny. Thanks. And how about you, Billy? Billy, why you won last year's Evo? Why is uh, why is Fangwei so strong? Uh, angry Chinese man. Uh, shoulder big. Oh, okay. Crouching throw, etc. No, it's just leave it to the sports commentators to explain the game, right? And leave it to the, the other people to kick the ball around. You know, gonna, sorry, but you're gonna want to kind of uh, yeah. reevaluate uh, the main techniques that are your go tos when you pick up this character for Tekken 8. <laughs> oh, thanks, John. No, but it's, uh, it's, that's another skill, being able to break down something complicated and explain it in a, a simple way to understand as possible. It's, that's a skill on its own. You don't have that skill just because you're super good at something. I don't know if you've ever been in college and oh, here's Professor Harold von Twinkelhofen. He's a world-renowned uh, tax lawyer who knows everything. Uh, go, go to the page number 89 and you'll see where I read the page 89 as a tax and tax and he revoked the right. The right, right was revoked. What? Did anyone understand what he just said? No, we did not. <laughs> so yes, if you've ever been in college, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've ever seen a pro player talk about Tekken, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. あの、アニメーション作ってたんで、そこはかなりあの、ハイクオリティなものができたんじゃないかなと思います。まず見てそれを感じましたね。すごくその、it's a particular skill set being good at something. But it certainly is not a guarantee that the person that attacks highly gifted at this specific thing. Can translate that into explaining to you how he observes this game or whatever he does. No, that's why it's very rare to Find a person the, who's really uh, good at something who, you know, kind and of really good at explaining it, hand and has pe the people capture. skills. They actually did, and is good with people uh, and good with teaching. It's Those people like are fucking sure rare. That, uh, it feels authentic. Fucking in the game rare. When, once they have their work completed. Oh, look, oh, look at your fitness guys on YouTube, Sam Solik or whatever. He's so good at talking, and he's so good at lifting, and so good at going to the pharmacy. But that's very rare. Most gym guys are just. Uh, 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 I just left the weight. Where are the chicks? You know, it's just. Uh, you have to understand that, but just because someone is good at something doesn't mean it translates into. I'm a good. I'm a good teacher. Yeah. Not three, sorry, two. So a lot of people don't get that, but again, it's, it's very true. So he should be a lot easier to pick up and play uh, than before. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we really went into the weeds with uh My god, we're, oh, we're still doing this. I, I literally zoned and out and we are still doing this. I might get some more coffee to be honest. Hi. Um, or am I out of coffee? I'm gonna double check. So leading up to that uh, update uh, next week, uh, for people who are looking forward to trying out Eddie, uh, we'll hope you check out the archive again just to kind of get some pointers. And for those of people who are dreading uh, facing Eddie online, uh, there's a, a few pointers in there t for you too. So we'll we hope you'll check it out again. 
、はい、他に何か気になるところありますか気になるところも気になるところしかないかもしれないけど<笑>どこまでやっていいのっていうその不安があって<笑>いやもうまあまあちょっとプレイヤーに見つけてもらうそう本当にねまあまあそうそうそうなんでまあこれぐらいでもう十分多分スペシャルというかもうお腹いっぱいでしょっていう,うめちゃくちゃめちゃくちゃ作り込まれてますマジこのキャラ、はい、かなり新キャラに近い感じで本当に今までのエディを使ってる人が。Oh, oh, oh, oh. So、They're watching my stream, aren't they? They're trolling me. As soon as I leave, of course. 